Hey guys, it's Moody here, and I've got a black and white one UU match here. And I do have black and white do stuff already recorded. I just need to narrate it. It's coming up. Don't worry about it. I've got like new little cup stuff. Like little cup also got a couple new things in black and white too. If you guys are interested in that, I'm gonna have that um later. I have it backed up, and I just need to record it. But for today, I pulled out a UU match. It's old, so if I already have one that's recorded like the same exact match recorded and narrated i am so sorry and i i can't do anything about it i'm just gonna narrate it anyway so uh i let off with my bronze on thinking i just need to set up my rocks i'm pretty safe uh leading off with it as long as he didn't lead off with like a chandelure or something i assumed he might have led off with his stealth rocker as well uh, I think he had one, I'm not sure, uh, I forgot. So he went into his chandelier. Now, I have special investment in this thing, so I kind of took a chance here. I, like, I thought maybe he's gonna want to go for Shadow Ball and predict me to switch. So I figured I'm gonna stay in, see what he goes for. If I die, I die. I can revenge kill it with something, alright. Um, to be honest, it probably wasn't, like, the smartest move in the world. And like I risked losing my bronzong early and you know that might have been a problem but it shows that he uh, is choiced probably choice scarfed I'm assuming just so Chandelure can make up for its lackluster speed and uh, I just didn't want to predict anything and just went into uh, went for the earthquake I'm probably I'm gonna switch out here because uh, he first of all I, I thought that he's gonna go for rapid spin and I just like I didn't really want to have my rocks spun away so I went into my chandelier and like in the first also in the first place like I really didn't want to risk losing my chandelier early he knew I had flash fire that's why he went for shadow ball and that's why I was like wary of switching that in so there's that so uh, he did not predict or anything he just went straight for the earthquake and now that I know that I'm just gonna go for the fire blast and I believe it's going to be enough to take him out I think I'm a life orb set on this thing I am sorry this battle is like kind of bold I don't quite remember so uh, HP loss there kind of dictates that I am so he goes into his Sharpedo it's supposed to scare me out and it does so I am forced to switch out assuming he's gonna be going for a water type move and I won't, went into Kingdra assuming I would quad resist it because I am dragon and water. So here it's it's kind of a problem, but like I, I think I have not a fully offensive one. I'm not sure, probably do. I think this is all, I think this is, this is either the double dance or this is like Resto Chesto set, but I guess the Draco kind of confirms that it's double dance, but I'm glad I did get rid of the Sharpedo though, just because Sharpedo could be a pain in the ass with the speed boost if it gets enough up, and by enough I mean like one or two. So he goes into Raikou, I believe that I don't really have anything to switch in, so I really didn't want to risk him actually setting up a substitute, I guess, um, and keeping it up because it's just going to make it more difficult for me to get rid of it. And since Raikou are usually the Calm Mind variants, I mean, most of the ones I know, I figure I'm gonna get a Brain Dance, I am gonna get the Speed Boost, I'm gonna Hydro Pump it. Uh, even though I do have the defense, uh, not the defense, even do, though I have the special attack drop, like, I kind of felt like I needed uh, the Rain Boost with the Hydro Pump um, because of the drop, but uh, I don't know. It might not have been the best play. At this point, I think he's trying to wear down one of my Life Orb. Uh, he's trying to wear me down, and I'm here just trying to make sure he doesn't have a sub up when I go down, basically, because that's going to be the worst news in the world because it's going to be a lot more difficult for me to manage with the, manage this thing so I'm like here praying that I don't miss a hydro pump because if I do then I'm screwed because then hit sub is gonna stay up and I'm gonna be like blah so as long as I made it out of this thing basically having him I think he can still set up a sub at this point but he wouldn't want to because he's at such low hit points I'm like yes okay I don't have to deal with this thing so uh, I go into Crocodile. It scares him out because I am also choice scarfed here. 
Uh, I, I think this is a really interesting set to run. Uh, it's, I think it might be standard. It's just like Moxie with uh, Choice Scarf, kind of what Salamence runs in OU these days. I go for the Earthquake. I forget that he still has a Hitmontop, but I do think that he's going to want to go for the Rapid Spin. So I believe I go into Chandelure here. I definitely could not risk losing Chandelure because Chandelure basically walls Hitmontop to hell, especially since I run the subset. This is why I run the subset. I run the subset specifically because uh, the sucker punches that Ro not Ro why did I call it Ro hit on top half? I'm sorry. And that way I definitely am not gonna get KO'd by it or anything. So I like to have a safe switch safe idea, I guess. I don't know. But to be honest, running sub with life orb you lose a lot of health really fast. And this first fire blast I missed, so I'm like, oh, what the hell? Um, but I am glad that I at least have enough hit points to make another sub and avoid the Sucker Punch, because Sucker Punch is literally the only thing it can do to me now, because I think the other move it has, like, close combat or something, and since I'm Ghost, I don't I'm not affected by it at all, so Sucker Punch is literally the only thing you can hit me with, um, and... Uh, ho oh, oh, ho, I remember this, I've pain split on this thing. This is why the Life Orb set isn't that bad of an idea. Now I remember, and now I gained back a crap ton of health, and he still sucks sucker punching, and this is why Chandelure walls hit him on top to hell. Um, so, I'm okay with losing my sub uh, if my Fire Blast actually hits this time. Thankfully, I do have room for error here, um, with the misses, so... I looked out there, I guess, and that Fire Blast is definitely going to kill it. I don't have to worry about him rapid spinning away rocks or stuff like that. So, sitting pretty good here, and he goes back out into his Raikou. I believe I leave my Chandelure in to die now that Hitmontop is out, uh, because I guess that's really all I felt like I needed Chandelure for. I may be wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it dies here, because I, I also really didn't have a safe switch in at this point, I don't believe. Uh, hmm, whoops, I don't know. So, Raikou could get annoying if it sets up Calm Minds. I don't want to possibly let that happen, so. Also, the fact that I have a Scarf Crocodile here, that's going to outspeed it regardless. And uh, now that he's got him on top out of the way, it's going to make it slightly easier for me to do so. I believe I go for the Crunch. Hmm, I thought I was going to actually predict that switch in, but Crunch surprisingly did enough. I mean, it did a huge chunk there. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Uh, I know he scarfed. The thing is, I at the time, I wasn't sure who would have the higher speed, so I kind of stayed in there. And also the fact that uh, his Raikou is also going to die, and then that means I also get a Moxie boost. But that Moxie boost is going to be irrelevant because he can probably just go back out into Flygon and crit. Totally mattered can go back out into fr Flygon and uh, get the KO anyway, given the health I'm at, which is what he's going to do. Uh, do I switch? I still have Bronzong left, so I don't see why I wouldn't. So I still want to save my Kukudal for later because I am Choice Scarf. That'll come in handy. Uh, he goes for the U-turn. Bronzong, I think, is a really good switch into Flygon as long as they don't carry uh, Fire Blast if they're, like, mixed then you're kind of fucked. But luckily, I don't think this set is. So he goes into Chandelure. Ch now, this makes me wonder, is Chandelure scarfed as well? At the beginning, I remember saying, hmm, I think Chandelure is scarfed. But now I'm beginning to actually like doubt that it might be Specs, but I don't see what, to be honest, I don't think Specs Chandelure is like effective because it loses out on speed unless it's like, Against slower Pokemon, like in this case, it's okay, but like here, I bring in my Crookedile thinking, okay, at least I know he's not Scarfed, and I'm just gonna kill it off with Crunch, so, woohoo, don't have to deal with the Chandelure with a super high, super high special attack, so, I, to be honest, I still don't know what it is, I think it was Specs, I do not damage Calc, so, I apologize for that, uh, he goes into Flygon, now here, I kinda left, uh, my Crookedile in because I thought I was going to die and I died regardless, but uh, I still have Bronze... No, I don't. 
I have really bad memory, that's what I have, so. I go into my Shaman because I can resist the Earthquake. I believe this is his last Pokemon, and I can just go for a Seed Flare, or if I Hidden Power, Hidden Power Ice, I don't think I have that, but. Seed Flare, thankfully it doesn't miss, even with 90% accuracy, it seems like a lot less when I hit, when I try and hit things with it, and uh, that's gonna be the end of the match. And I get the win there, so. I apologize once again if I actually uploaded this match and narrated it before, but, uh, whoops. And if not, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but if I did, then I'm sorry. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, and I have a lot of Black and White 2 stuff backed up. So if you're interested in that, that's coming up, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.